This is Fast Five, where I give you a five color palette surrounding a very popular paint color that we all know and love. Today's featured color is Benjamin Moore's Edgecomb Gray HC-173. It's extremely popular, especially for interior use because of its versatility. I won't go into too much detail on the color itself because we did review it on an episode of Color Code, which you can check out in the cards up top. This video is for the people that want more color pairing options to work alongside it. So. Let's just get into the first one, the white color. The white color that I enjoy pairing with Edgecomb Gray these days is none other than Oxford White. No matter whether you're calling it by the color code CC-30 or 869, it's the same color either way. Oxford White is a classic, clean white that really does a phenomenal job at feeling settled and simple. It's not necessarily trying to go into an overly warm or cool direction. It just sort of has this lovely little balance of white with a touch of cream and a touch more of gray. As the white color pairing, Oxford White makes for a wonderful baseboard color for Edgecomb Gray walls. And I've used that combination more times than I can remember. Not only that, it's a color you can continue onto your doors, your frames, your windows, and even on your ceiling because of how clean and neutral it ends up feeling. I've used Oxford White all over a house for that reason alone. Like everything inside. So a color like that really allows Edgecomb Gray's subtle undertones to be featured because it's not trying to compete with it. And I think that's very important in this case. Next, we're going from white to light. And that color is a la mode. This is a color from the color preview collection by Benjamin Moore. And it's notated by the color code 2109-70. Sometimes when I have a light color pairing for an already fairly light color like Edgecomb Gray, I sometimes go with something similar. So you can kind of pick one or the other. But a la mode was selected to be used in conjunction with Edgecomb Gray. Not only is it quite a bit lighter as a color, it also moves away from that kind of grayish, yellowy, warm side of Edgecomb Gray to an almost light rosy taupe, where all the mode has tiny bits of pinky, brown, and gray. You can really feel that polarization when you have it next to Edgecomb Gray, because even though they're both pretty subtle, you start to see how each color goes in pretty clear and opposing directions. I like to use these colors in a yin-yang fashion, where maybe one room will have Edgecomb Gray walls with little bits of Alamode influence in the form of accents, and then flip things in a nearby room with Alamode on the walls, and some more gold-leaning accents to cut through for a bit of a reciprocal relationship between spaces. James, this ain't math class. Get to the next color, you nerd. I know you just said that to me. Don't lie to me. We got our white, we got our light. Let's go for a medium color choice next. You may be tempted to pick Edgecomb Gray's neighbor Revere Pewter as the mid-tone color pairing, but that would be too easy. I prefer Winterwood from the Benjamin Moore Classics collection, which has a much clearer use of green mixed with gray and a touch of brown. Almost feels like a fusion between sage green and taupe, which is absolutely perfect for a color like Edgecomb Gray. Winterwood will help enhance the beige aspect present in Edgecomb Gray, which is why I like using them together. It's also kind of right in the middle darkness wise, so it's not at a point where you can't use it on your walls. And this is especially the case in those rooms that get a ton of light. Winterwood is just going to be phenomenal on the walls, and it really shines no pun intended, with direct sunlight. So Winterwood and Edgecomb Gray, these colors are within that same wheelhouse, although Winterwood isn't quite as warm feeling. Light, light, medium, and now dark, the fourth color pairing. Because we found a partnership between Edgecomb Gray and Winterwood, I wanted someone for my buddy Alamode. And that paint color is Gray Mountain. This is a stormy, red undertoned taupe from the Benjamin Moore Classics Collection, color code 1462. And it has a noticeable increase in depth from the other colors. Of course it does, it's the dark color pairing. It's gotta be dark, right? What's fun here is Gray Mountain actually complements Winterwood and Edgecomb Gray, where the undertones are sort of competing to give you a more dynamic look. On the flip side, next to Ala Mode, they almost kind of neutralize each other, where the pink undertone in Ala Mode becomes softened next to Gray Mountain. So you can really have some fun piecing these colors together and coordinating them in whichever way you see fit, whether you want them to coordinate or kind of complement and sort of 
clash in a good way. I will say that the red undertone in Grey Mountain can nearly disappear in certain lighting conditions and feel more like a stormy gray, but that's also what gives it its character. The final color to fit alongside Edgecomb Gray is our wild card. So just a quick recap here. We have our white in Oxford White, our light in Alamode, our medium in Winterwood, our dark in Grey Mountain, and finally our daring color, which is a bit of an accent, I would say. Another color from the Benjamin Moore's Classics collection. It is Crisp Romaine, which is a very dark shaded green that still possesses a sliver of cozy warmth. You'll notice this entire color palette was free of any unapologetically blue cool colors. So I wanted to continue that trend, but also give you something that had a strong color hue to change things up. There, a fast five color palette for Edgecomb Gray. I'll try and be faster next time.